In the philosophy of shattered dreams, I search for peace in the pages of history. With vision in every letter and a future in every word, I see a kingdom rising from ashes to concrete gold. We are gems of this nation, a diamond in the rough, caught up in decades of war, sculptured from hardship but still beautiful like a rosebud. Shadows tend to follow us around, humming songs of the dead, but they can't deny us the light of a new dawn and a new day. I'm Zara Abdihaji, a poet and a member of the Somali Storytellers. In this segment, we want to highlight the real narrative of Somalia covering identity, culture, history, and overall progress of the country. In the capital city of Somalia, Mogadishu, the most populated city in East Africa, once known as the Great White Pearl of the Horn. With a lot of Somalis returning home, Everyone in the country is playing a role in maintaining Somalia's rich culture and heritage. This way, the culture goes on forever. Neat internet sensation Ali Moomin, also known as Ali Clever, was actively promoting Somali culture on a social media platform together with his siblings. Alim Women Awes, Ali Clever, Mela Har or Udo Buddha Jamalada, a Hakso Samaya Siran Kurpa and Oxogala, and Murka Bushida, a Lodaga Murkasa, Pitchki or Sodiga. Hana Hai last year, Smith Kutum Bissahe, Murkishal after Harwa last year, Chamadina Blashala. Lawala Sahawai, Walahi Wai, with me, Shahala, Majid Arif. Golden Eagle, Walashi, Halla, and Sumayo. A few doors to Hoko in Made, a Mashallah will of Fernand, eh, the Dilginayo, so who has I, an area the Etai, area of Hana Mantica, like Nirti in Somalia. Pity Hablehena, Billy Dodo had the Malay, Uma Bahnimura, and Yagana Cop Kale, while you're Dakna Kamataga. At just the age of twenty, Ali has managed to attract the attention of eighty thousand Somali followers around the globe who also want to stay connected with their roots. Ali is using the energy to inspire other young Somalis to take pride in their culture. Ali is one of the many young people who are looking beyond the negative image and embracing their homeland. Join me, Ahmed and Hidayah, as we search for Somali cultural items and garments in the old city of Mogadishu. Welcome to Hamarwene. The material I'm holding here is called Alindi. Alindi is a Somali print commonly worn by women. This is a traditional headrest called Barshin or Barkin. Exotic animals such as the giraffe were caught and sold by Somali merchants to various empires. Somali giraffes were very popular in the Ming Dynasty of China in the 13th century. Somalis also have a long history with seafaring as people of trade. They used an ancient Somali vessel known as Badan, which is the longest surviving stone boat in the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> The Bhat. This item right here is a frankincense burner. Mm. 
Eso suena un nombre de carácter. After the cultural experience, there was a strong need to visit historic sites. The first one we stopped at is called Dal Jirka Tahsan, also known as the Tomb of an Unknown Soldier. This was built in memory and honor of the brave men and women who fought for this country. This has always stood here. And as you can see, the Somali flag stands here as well. Hawa Tako is one of the most strongest women in Somalia's history. She encouraged women to fight for their freedom. This one here is called the Gahtur, which literally translates to stone throwing. This dates back to October 5th, 1949, where a fight broke out between Somali nationalists and colonial powers. As Somali youth, we choose to see the beauty in the ruins. As a poet, I take pride in our poetic heritage coming from a wise line of men and women. We all play a role in shaping the future of Somalia. <laughs>